extra soggy mild sauce taco emporium. Today we're going back, and today, I know, I got a bunch of threatening messages, people spewing the anger and hatred because I didn't open the outer case on camera as I did the first video. So that's why I always like to check for feedback to make sure that, of course, the anger that spews through 2020 continues to make everyone happy. So today, we are doing another VIP 16 Super Mega Taco case opening, and um, we're going to do one at a time. I hope everyone's excited. hope everyone's having a great day. It's time to have some fun today. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this video, guess who it's brought to you by? Nope, nope. No sponsors. Not Fancy Taco Bell. Nope. Charles! Mr. Red Comet. You're up, my friend. Welcome to Glory Land? Crazy Town? Pound Town? I don't know. So, we're going to do our typical... Uh, I'm actually I'm, gonna, I'm not going to open them all at once. Like I said, we're going to try to... I want to I want to kind of get see if there's patterns. We've talked about that. So, unfortunately, uh, we're going to open these with different box covers. So, we're going to make sure... We do proper box opening procedures here with this new fancy invisible ink Wizards of the Coast clear wrapping. So we want to make sure we use our extra sharp knife, everybody. Can you even see that? Extra? Who cares? Okay. All right, everybody. Here we go. No turning back now. And uh, twice as nice. Well, we'll be the judge of that. So obviously, uh, after looking at the feedback from the first video and everything going on out there, um, it's quite fun. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I like the product. Yeah, it's it's kind of expensive. Good old wizards in their high prices, but the quality and the product is uh, quite fun, ladies and gentlemen. So obviously we'll do a quick skim through the comments, especially looking for uh, ooh, ancient stirrings there. Especially looking for some uh, defective or printing error stuff is definitely what we want to look for, just to make sure there's nothing hiding here. All right, we ready? Here we go, everybody. Without here we go. No turning back. Blood spore. Well, that's uh, disappointing. Grim Lava Mancer, and that is also what is this? Wasn't this in like a premium series deck, and then like M12 and and Brains? God, we start off with a, we had like four brainstorms yesterday, and Atraxa, nice mythic. A lot of people have already started to comment to me. They're noticing only the mythic box topper is only in the second slot, so I thought that was interesting also. And yes, folks, this time I will not drive everyone crazy with the different uh, five and five, the one, one, two, three. And, uh, I know it's kind of fun what lasted though. And I guess you really do. It's very consistent. So there's not a lot of volatility with that. You literally get exactly the five of each of the, the lands. You get the one mythic. It is very consistent on the, uh, Zendikar lands versus the unhinged lands. Although it's kind of an awesome troll move. It was kind of an awesome troll move. All right. So anyways, here we go, everybody. Pack two out of 12. Um, I'm, today, what we're really looking for is I want to, we're still, I want to see if we see also some bizarre, I don't know. Obviously, printing errors and randomization errors are going to be kind of the big thing today. That's what we're looking for here, ladies and gentlemen. So, and actually, I'm very surprised. We actually have some decent common uncommons in this product. Actually, um, Flicker Wisp, very nice. And here we go. Going into the Ion Storm for rare number one. That's disappointment if I've ever seen it across my face. And we've got a Mythic, the Blight Dragon. What was this, like M14? I don't remember. Um... I'm not very excited right now. Okay. And, oh, you know, I don't know what the value of these things are going to be, but these things, I can't explain to you guys how good these things look in person. Oh, baby. Oh, woo. Okay. Holy smokes. That looks even better in person. Oh my goodness. I got to give one thing credit. These flipping full. And so I don't, I don't, I don't know if these are available in the regular box or not. These things are stunning. That is an amazing Mana Crypt, ladies and gentlemen. And just so we look at the foils in the back, same exact two foils. Okay, we had the, ex yeah, okay, same exact two foils. Wow, Urza's mine with our Mana Crypt. So this already, we're already noticing um, this is a double. We've already had three Mythics, I think, right? Three Mythics already. So we're getting a lot more Mythics today. Uh, flipping Mana Crypt right out of the gate in the first sub box. That's an epic hit, everybody. Like I said, it's still going to be about, until we hit about video four or five, I'm um, probably not really going to go too much in the financial value, because simply put, I want I want the market to settle post full post-release, usually plus 30 days, preferably. But, you know, otherwise the numbers just aren't accurate. It doesn't matter. you got to let the market uh, settle down. All right, here we go. Calling Master Invigorate. God, how many times have we seen Invigorate? Especially with that, uh, ooh, Path Exile. They reprint the other set, the standard set. And Goro, Mortal Kombat. And here we go. Masterwork of Ingenuity. 
I love those old artifact cards. And that's what we all want. Forge, that's what we want. Constructs in our life. Every time I think construct, I just think conspiracy. And Toxic Deluge. That is epically ridiculous artwork on the old Toxic. And Sword of... Wow, a Mythic again. Okay, so that's definitely official. You can only get a Mythic in the second slot. We're getting a Mythic in almost every one. We didn't get that in the first video. Sword of War. Wow, that is a... Gorgeous card. Holy smokes. Okay. And we just want to see foils in the back here. This time we had, okay, Forrest and Mr. Mountain. Well, this, it, like, see, like, when I see the first four openings of this, like, I'm looking at this, and I know everyone's angry because the Wizards is charging so much. And I think people have the right to be angry because, I mean, Wizards is charging a lot of money. I mean, you know, I'm not going to sugarcoat that. Like, I mean, it is really expensive. I mean, the, I... I mean, distributors are charging 70 bucks plus for these stupid little packs. I mean, these things are really expensive. And I get you're getting a brick of nice, foily, shiny stuff, but it's still really expensive. I mean, that really, we can't, we cannot, I can't discount that even on my end. But anyways, but the product is, it's a fun product. That's the problem. And here we go. Firelit, the old Dr. Thicket. They used to call me that in high school. Uh, Filterland. I still love these. That reminds me of, what is this, like Morning Tide Lauren artwork? Back in the day. Oh, I love that artwork. And Adaptive Automaton. I think of M12, sorry. And Phyrexian Metamorph. Gorgeous. And Mox Opal. Oh my god! That is what we needed. Oh, dude. Dr. Red Comet of the Third Dynasty patron. Dude, you have just... You are crushing it on day two here. Oh my goodness. That first brick... One, two, three. So you had one Mythic in the back slot. So was that first opening we did? Was that an anomaly where we didn't get any Mythics in the second slot? Or is this an anomaly? Like, see, these are the moments that make me very interested to do a higher volume because I want to learn and understand what's going on here. Like, which is normal? Is this normal? Or is the other video where we got two Force of Wills, but we didn't get many Mythics? But this is like every second slot we're getting these, um, these Mythic hits. Holy crap. It's amazing. Wow. Like, I don't know if you can ask besides four. So, I mean, Atraxa, Flippin' Mana Crypt, Sword, and Noble. Oh, like, that's incredible. All right. Any uh, any defective misprints? Ooh, Bobble, Star, Godly. I noticed, by the way, I've already noticed Bobble and uh, Dr. Manamorph uh, Power Rangers. These two are always side by side with the factory. They are next to each other in the print sheet. I already learned that. Flicker Wisp. Here we go, everybody. All right, we got the old Aristocrat. He used to call me that when I was in the playground. And uh, what was this, original Innistrad? And the Pulse for eh, kind of a couple dollar rares. Coming through with Expedition Map. Still don't think that should be a box topper. Upshifted Uncommon. Don't agree, but I got to admit, it does look pretty. And my, oh my God. Now you're done. Are you guys trolling me today? Holy crap. A double tap. Dude, this is out of control, man. Wow. Holy crap, and an island, and a plains. I'm just going to put all the lands. We all know that at this point, they're all five and five. There's not really, I'm not going to take up a lot of room with this anymore. Oh my god. Oh god. This video is out of control. Okay, that's super cool. Alright, this is awesome. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. Alright, we are halfway through. Mini case, subcase. Oh, can't even open it. Subcase number Two out of four. That's where we are. Okay, here we go, everybody. Any uh, misprints in here? Ooh, a braid. Really? That was a common? I thought that was an uncommon. Did they downshift something? No way. Urza's Tower, and guess what? It's normal looking. That's nice to see. Uncommons. Buried Ruin. Very nice. Ooh, look at that. Calling. Very nice. Uncommon. Path to Exile. There's some serious value in that common uncommon slot. All right, Boon Reflection. I love that artwork, though. She looks stunning. She's beautiful looking. I love that. Almost that Vesuvian Double Gamer feel. Very nice. Well of Ideas. Very strange choice on that. And Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And a Meddling Mage. Oh, very nice Stoneforge. What do we get in the foils? We got... Oh, sorry. We got the foil planes and foil forest there for the stone. And these are... Okay, so both of these are rares. No Mythics in that. Dude, stunning pools, man. Holy crap. Whew, okay, here we go. Number three out of four in subcase number two. Here we go. Absolutely awesome. This is, I think what's going to be interesting is by the time we hit about video number 5 through 10, about when we get halfway through here in the next maybe about week or so, 
to really see if we start to notice any clumping or bizarre uh, packaging or I haven't seen the other misprints. We got that first one on day one, but maybe that was the anomaly. I'm not seeing any problems, which is nice to see. And here we go, everybody. Into the Thunderdome, Phyrexian Metamorph for the original artwork there, the other version, not the full art fancy. Very nice card. And Chrome, oh, God. Another mythic. Dude, this is an out of control one. And Academy Ruins for the very nice. I still love that card. Reminds me of the Battle for Zendikar Expedition card. Loved it. And Sword of Light and Shadow. So in this video, we are destroying the second slot. Is these box topper mythics are out of control. Oh, okay. Like I said, you know, I think it's funny because I think at the end of the day, at least from the feedback I've seen between patrons and conversations and talking to people on the phone and locally, what I've what I've tend to notice is I don't think people really, I think everybody likes the product. Everybody's just irritated about Wizards and the price increases. And I and I think that's justified. I really do. These prices are any air. Oh, no. Oh, I love, God, those power. That's a 7th edition artwork, isn't it? If I remember. It's like, man, 7th artwork, chromatic star. Very solid, man. Fatal push in the uncommon slot. Very nice. Obulet in the uncommon slot. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going in. Arms and feet, a voice of resurgence to make sure Dragon's Maze never goes up in value. And Sculpting Steel, love that artwork there. And Goblin Guide, there we go from the old Zendikar world. I love how he's got the map on his head. That's about as lost as I am in the world. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, this opening is insane! Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, God. I need to keep some of these for myself. Oh, my goodness. I need to get... Oh, my God. Dude. Oh. That was uh, subset number two. All right. From now on, we're leaving. We're opening the outer case on camera because the pools are better. <laughs> I shouldn't have pre-opened it to speed up the video on the other one. Oh, my God. This is even better. The internet was right. No wonder they were angry at me. Opening it on the outer cardboard, which has nothing to do with anything, on camera, gets better pulls! Wow! Oh my goodness, this is amazing! Dude, I can't I wish I had, like, a camera on, like, the patron who bought this to see his face right now with these absolute m multiple mox opals, flipping force of wills, and flipping cro- Oh my god, <laughs> this is amazing! Like I this this is this is what this is why I will always be a magic person no matter what. This to me is so much fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sit down, put the taco down. We're doing it. Endless. Okay, really, what are these two rares? Give me some juice. Come on, Papa Hasbro. Council's judgment for the. Actually, this is actually pretty expensive from Conspiracy now, and we have our first box topper craziness. And if anybody hasn't noticed, yes, folks, that is the Terminator T1000 in the middle from Solemn Simulacrum. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? A third my oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Uh well Dr. Red Comet uh from Pluto, I hope you want a place set of Mox Opals, because that's what you're getting, bro. Like, how much are those things? Like, isn't Force of Will like three, four hundred? And isn't like those Mox Opals, aren't those like one to two hundred dollars a piece? Oh my goodness. Flipping out of control, dude. Okay, Urza's Power Plant, Rudy the Bone Picker, Death Rudy, uh, Rudy's uh, Cheerio Ring. Uh, uncommons, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Stay focused, stop getting crazy. I, I can't believe Thopper Foundries. I love that card. Uh, Valorous Stance, what was that? A Nyx? Journey Nyx? Theros? Ah, uh, here we go. Thirst for Rudy. Blasting Rudy's face. Here we go. Twilight Mire. I know, I know. I know why they did it, because there's already so much value. They you know, they didn't want to do fetch lands, but they should have done fetch lands. Ravenous, we got some trap cards from Zendikar. Academy Ruins again, and here comes the big daddy. Here comes the big daddy. And Atrex wow, Atraxa again. Every flippin'. We are getting so many mythics compared to the first video. What the heck? So, ladies and gentlemen, I think the first opening we did was an anomaly. We didn't get, like, the Mythic pull rates were way lower. Like, I'm actually thinking now that... Oh my god, I can't even open this. I think the first video was actually the... the I can't even open it, sorry. I think the first video was the weaker one. 
I can't believe I'm saying this because everybody was like, oh, that first one, Rudy seeded it. Everything's a scam. F you, negative, rah, rah, bash, Rudy, evil messages. And now I'm like, the first video wasn't even as good as this. This is incredible. Hey, there she is, Weatherlight Captain. Smoking hot. Great woman. Look at her running that ship. Love it. And Rudy the Vine. I know. This was the card, but he used to make fun of me in Ultimate Masters. I used to say it was a terrible card. Now it's kind of expensive. So, And so Mythic. Ooh, first time I've seen Blood Moon. Wow. Okay. And Sneak Attack. So we are getting Mythics in that back slot over and over. What a data piece. That was not what I expected. All right. So we are about to approach. These are the last. We got one left. Then we're going to the last subcase, everybody. I still can't believe there's no wizards wrapping on these things. Just, what a what a dumpster. What an irritating troll move. Like, seriously. Like, come on. It's 2020, wizards. You know better. Like, that was intentional. They knew. All right. Crusade. Mirror, driver, clear shot, another Urza's Tower, no misprints. Wow, so no misprints like the first one. All right, charms, drums, path to exile, rush to knowledge, lightning. Here we go, everybody. Here we go. We got Cyclonic Rift for the regular foil. Worm Coil Engine coming through. Worms in your face. Never a bad thing for the Mythic and Urza's Power Plant for the... Oh, my God. Those are gorgeous. Like, I know that's not considered the big hit, but dude, bro, home skillet. Like, have you ever had tater tots on a Sunday morning? Like, dude, that's just gorgeous. And a Cyclonic Rift again. So we got two Cyclonic Rifts in this video. And we got ourselves a Swampy and an Island. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the last little subcase here. So this is it. The last four, everybody, for today's video. And then uh, we'll do a couple other. We'll take a day off here on these. Uh, we'll, this product. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll open some other collector boxes or something in the meantime. And uh, wow. Woo! Okay. So last four. Let's see if we can keep the momentum. This is already insane. I can't believe we had three Mox Opals. Like, are you kidding me? Like, it's... <laughs> what should I title this video? Like, cancel your order. This is a bad product. I hope it... We need to get the price lower. We need to manipulate the market, everybody. Otherwise, I'm not fulfilling my promise to the evil people on the internet. Mystic Gate with Midget Rudy in the middle. Love it! And we got ourselves the Bandit Warlord. Love the artwork. Not a big fan of the card. I think it's kind of pricey to cast, but... There you go. Urza's Tower. Absolutely stunning. Oh. And Lightning Greaves. I haven't even seen that card yet. Okay. There's something different for everybody. I don't think those are some top tier cards, but they both look stunning. And um, very cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are down to the last three today. Hope everyone's having a great day. Hope you're having fun. Hope these videos help kind of, kind of scratch that itch to help you guys out. So you don't actually have to uh, spend... Remember, I charge each patron $10,000 per video. So that's $1 million and I'm retired. And I'm not mailing the cards and I'm already in the Middle East. And no, I'm in Russia now. I don't know where I am. Okay, here we go, everybody. All right, let's come on, baby. Oh, oh, I'm seeing some spice. Here we go. Mystic Gate for... Apparently, we already had that. And Disciple of... Wasn't that like an M1314, like, dollar rare? What's up with that choice? It's kind of strange. Exploration. Oh... Right in the feels. That is literally Rudy right there looking at the approved Wizards Hasbro Overlord. That's how I feel on a daily basis. Oh, and a batter skull with the new art. Haven't even seen it yet. Oh, ooh, very cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. In a mountain, in a swampy. Very cool, everybody. Well, last two. Hope everyone's enjoyed the video today. Ah, man, what a blast. I think this was better than the first one. Like, seriously, this was better than the first video. Oh, my God. All right, here we go, everybody. Anything weird? Any misprints? Oh, I told you. Oh, no, Man of Morphs. Okay. Saras, Dismantle. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Flippin' Command. Is there Cryptic Command? If they got the White Command, they should have Cryptic Command, right? Ooh, Archangel of Mrs. Capital Throne. Not Throne of Eldraine, but we'll call her that. And Goblin Guide! And Sword of Feast and Famine. What do we got for the foils? Plains and Forest. Wow, look at that, everybody. Love that sword. That might be my favorite sword art. Look at that sword art. Like, that's the thing. There's no way anybody can honestly say these look like crap. Like, the quality is just... The foiling is good. The quality is good. It's just... It's just good. There's no way to downplay that. Yeah, Wizards is milking all of us, but man... Holy crap. And you guys really, everybody keeps saying they're going to, they just want to buy the fancy cards when the price drops, but I just don't know. Like, I have no idea how these numbers are going to settle. 
All right, everybody. Very last. Ooh, Urza is mine. First time I saw that art. In the old. Ooh, Dark Steel. I didn't know you were in the. Un oh, Bobble. Crop rotation. Tell you what, they didn't actually. They didn't cut corners on the old uncommon slots. We actually got decent uncommons today. Sunken Ruins. Master Transmuter. Love that chick. She is awesome, dude. Like the way she's like a Terminator chick with like long, awesome hair. I'd totally buy her one day old taco. There she is. Stoneforge Mystic. That's our second box top. This is it, everybody. For all the tacos in the beautiful. Loving 2020 era. Meddling mage. There it is, folks. No mythic in the clothes. We got ourselves island in. That is it. That's how everybody feels right now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope everybody learned something today. What a phenomenal video. What a phenomenal legendary experience. Everybody, thanks for watching. Be safe out there. As always, I appreciate the honor and the privilege to entertain everybody. Have a great day.